guys welcome back to my channel my name is Adeze and if you're new to this channel you are welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always clicking on my videos okay yes so I have been off YouTube for over a week I think going to two weeks now and it feels kind of weird sitting down here to make this video I don't know why just over a week but it feels like it's been ages anyway did you guys miss me I missed you guys and yeah I'm glad to be back so in today's video, I am going to be exposing the YouTube community. I'm going to be spilling the tea. Yes, I, I came prepared, you know. As a pregnant woman, nobody can beat me. So I came prepared. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys some secrets about the YouTube community. Try the Nigerian YouTube community that many of you don't know. Try if you're on the outside. If you're on the outside, you really will not know some of these things except we open our mouths to tell you. So today I'm going to be the mouthpiece of the gods and I'm going to tell you guys what goes on in the YouTube community. If you're considering joining the YouTube community, you better know these things before you join. If you're already in the YouTube community and you are lost, kind of, then you also need to watch this video, okay? <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to be telling you about many YouTubers in this community is that a lot of us are not as confident as you think. Okay, we're not as bold, we're not as confident, we're not as, you know, bubbly or lively or friendly or whatever <laughs> as you think, okay? A lot of us are just, you know, I won't say faking it, it's not faking it, but we're just learning on the job, we are growing on the job, we are getting better on the job okay so because the reason why i made this the first point is that i have talked to a lot of youtubers the ones who are just you know smaller youtubers who are trying to start actually in my uh, master class that reminds me i'm going to be having a master class soon our third batch um just email me for details of that master class but i'm going to talk about it more in this video but anyway yeah so, so i was saying what was i saying yes anyway <laughs> so in our master in my master class um, the one I have with Nello, I've talked to a lot of YouTubers, I've reviewed a lot of YouTubers' channels. Aside even the masterclass, before we had our masterclass, and even, you know, I have always been reviewing people's channels and talking to so many YouTubers and so many intending or aspiring YouTubers. And one thing many of them have in common is that they think that you need some level of confidence, some level of you know boldness or smartness or intelligence or something to be on youtube and the answer is a big fat no okay many of us started off as shy as can be a lot of us are not as loud or friendly or you know bubbly as you see us on youtube we're not that way 247 okay like for instance me i'm not a very bubbly person i'm not a very you know happy person like I don't know how to explain it. I'm a happy person, but I'm not a very... I'm not like this 247. <laughs> Let me put it that way. I'm not like this 247. Majority of the time, I'm very calm, I'm very quiet, I'm very, um, you know, intro introverted, introspective, and all that and all that most of the time, okay? The times when I'm like this is when I'm with my kids or when I'm with my very, very, very close friends, okay? So, yeah, so when I come on YouTube and I show, like, that kind of personality, some people think that that's how I am 247. That's not how I am 247, okay? So, do not think that you need to be that way 247 to be on YouTube. Don't think you need to be loud to be on YouTube. Don't think you need to be, you know, over, overly assertive to be on YouTube. All you need to be on YouTube is just you, okay? All you need is your personality. All you need is just put on your camera and give the world what you want to give the world because you have something in you that you can give the world, okay? So if you are thinking of starting on YouTube and you think that, ah, YouTube is so saturated, many people are on YouTube, I cannot, end, I cannot join, who will notice me? You don't know your own personality might be what is missing on YouTube that we don't even know is missing, okay? All I'm trying to say is that you don't need to be you know, or you don't need to be a hundred percent of anything before you start YouTube. You can start with your ten percent. You can start with a minus five percent. Okay. Yeah. So the second one, which is also tied to the first one, is that a lot of YouTubers are actually introverts. We're not antisocial. Okay. So it's not like we hate people. It's not like we, we don't we, are, we don't like people. Or we don't like being friendly with people. Or whatever. No. A lot of us are actually very friendly and very you know we like people. We like being around people. We like talking to people. But we are introverts. A lot of YouTubers are introverts. A lot of YouTubers started YouTube as an outlet. <laughs> yes, a lot of YouTubers started YouTube as an outlet because they were really serious introverts, okay? 
So don't think that you need to be an extrovert to be on YouTube. That's basically my point. A lot of us, me, I know I'm an introvert, okay? Let me tell you other people that I feel are introverts. I don't think they've said this, but I feel they're introverts. CCM is an introvert. Dima is an introvert. Well, I think Dima is... Dima is a mix of both. I think Dima is a mix of both, but I know that CCM is an introvert. I know that Yummy Mom is an introvert, okay? Yes, forget. <laughs> if you guys know Yummy Mom's life, I know that Yummy Mom is an introvert. Um, who else again do I watch that I know is an introvert? I think NJ, Banta with NJ is an introvert. Um, but she's also, she's also like Dima, those people that are somewhere in between. Um, who else again? Who else? When I talk about this kind of things, now that's when all the things are flat on my head. People like Nezerville and Nelo, those ones are not introverts. We know those ones are not introverts, but um, I think Nezerville is actually a mixture of both. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that a lot of YouTubers, the best YouTubers that you know, a lot of them are actually introverts, okay? I think it's even easier for introverts to be on YouTube because you're just talking to your camera, you're not talking to anybody in particular, okay? So yeah, if you're an introvert and you think that that's the reason why you cannot be on YouTube or you think that's the reason why your channel is not doing well, I'm telling you right now that you are very, very wrong. It might be that there's something you haven't discovered that you need to do to take your channel to the next level, okay? Yeah. So the next thing you need to know about YouTubers is that a lot of YouTubers suffer from what we call the imposter syndrome, okay? The imposter, whatever, fear or whatever, <laughs> imposter syndrome. And imposter syndrome is basically the fear of you not being qualified enough for the position you are in or for the attention you are getting. You feel like you're not qualified enough, you're not talented enough, you've not, you don't put in the work enough. You're just like, why do people like me? Why do people follow me? Why do people watch me? And that is just life basically okay it's not even about youtube it's about life basically a lot of successful people have imposter syndrome which just that they have a way of masking it and coming out to act like yes i got this okay i got this i deserve it i want it i got it you know and that is why when you meet some youtubers and talking to them and you're like oh my god i've been watching you for years you're so this you're so that they're like okay <laughs> they don't know what to do with that information because they simply do not feel like they are worthy of it okay it's something that many people have to deal with now, I'm not saying all YouTubers have it though. Some YouTubers that their success or their fame is actually in their head. Like, they feel like, in fact, they even overestimate uh, how important they are to the world, okay? So, those ones, that one self day. <laughs> but I'm just saying that generally, uh, many YouTubers suffer from imposter syndrome. So, if you think that you're not worthy enough, like I keep saying, I'm just, all these points are kind of tied together. If you think you're not worthy enough, if you think you're not, just forget about it, okay? You actually deserve it because you put in the work, okay? Yeah. So, in one of my Q&A, somebody asked me how can she cope with a spouse who is not supportive of her YouTube career, with family members who really don't care about YouTube and who even don't want you to be on YouTube, you know, and how do you cope? How do you manage to still do YouTube with all these naysayers in the background telling you don't do it, you can't do it, you're not going to be good at it? How do you manage it? I mean, my answer is just block all those people out and do what you have to do, okay? Do what you want to do, do what you have to do to make your YouTube career successful. By the time you are successful on YouTube, those same naysayers, those same unsupportive spouses, those same people who don't believe in you are going to be the ones sharing your videos, telling your their people, this that, that lady on YouTube, you know her, yes, she's my sister, she's my daughter, she's my wife, okay? <laughs> that is just the truth about it, okay? Success brings people around, let me put it that way. Success brings people around, even people who do not believe in what you are doing. The reason why many of them are not supportive of what you are doing is because they are, are not seeing the value of it. They don't see, they don't, they're not seeing the success in it. They don't see you as someone who can be successful in it or you don't even see the value in it, okay? All I'll say is that if you have such people, better make sure that you are flying into YouTube and you are putting your all and, you know, doing your best to make it successful, okay? Like in my own case, you people know now, my husband is not someone who really likes YouTube, like he, he, if I was doing something else, he would have been happier, that's just the plain truth, if I was doing something else, he would have been happier, he's not one of those husbands who are pushing their wives, you know, you better do well, you gain subscribers, and do it's, not, it's not that kind of, it's not that kind of um, husband, and I've made my peace with it, and I'm not even, I don't even feel bad about it, well, the reason why maybe I don't feel bad about it is because even though he does not really support me in that aspect, 
he's a very supportive husband generally okay so for instance he watches all my videos from the first to this one i'm about to post he watches all of them over and over and over again in fact i'm sure some videos he's the one that gave them all the views <laughs> okay anyway all i'm trying to say is that because when he's um, at work he puts my videos in the background on a loop because to him it's almost like he's with his family there he sees our old videos you know newer videos and everything so he's that kind of person anytime i have issues with maybe lighting my laptop my this my phone my, my my camera all those things he will help me fix them you know he will help me for instance if i'm filming and my kids are making noise, he'll take them somewhere else so they don't make noise and disturb me. If I'm editing my video, you know, he's always, he's very supportive in that aspect, but he's not really supportive of the, I don't know how to explain it. See, you guys, my husband, let me tell you, to him, eh, the kind of content he wants me to be creating is all these gadget reviews. <laughs> I still you see your guys, trust me, you're not my audience, so just... Just park one side with that thing that you're saying, okay? Both of us are not in sync when it comes to the kind of content that we're putting out on YouTube. But because he's seen that I'm doing it with passion and I'm, you know, making some progress and I'm happy doing it, he's now supportive. Even my family members, it's not every video that I put out that they actually like. In fact, <laughs> my parents have called me one time to tell me that, that there's a video that I put that they did not like and I had to put that video down. This is a video that my husband has watched several times. He did not have a problem with it, but... Because I have family members, I'm just like, let me just consider them, okay? Yeah, so, uh, I hope I made sense. I feel like I just ran good enough, but I hope I made sense, okay? If it's something you want to do and you have the passion for it, I know that you can do it very well. Better dive in and do it, okay? At some point, they will all come around, okay? And also, nobody can make you blow on YouTube. Yes, that is one table I want to scatter today. So if you're on that table, just jump down. Because I've talked to so many YouTubers, like I said, and I have seen the way and I've heard some of the things they say actually about bigger YouTubers and I just laugh. A lot of YouTubers are very delusional when they think that it is by collabing with that big YouTuber that they're going to blow or it's by that big YouTuber mentioning them that they're going to blow or it's by that big YouTuber doing this for them or doing that. Like that entitlement mentality, that mentality of ah, I would have blown if not that. If CCME can just can just talk about me once in her video. If Dima can just collab with me. If uh, Tayo I know can just do this one with me. If uh, Makinja can just... Let me tell you something. All these people that I'm, I'm talking, all these YouTubers that you see that are doing very well, how many people helps them blow? How many people helps them blow? What? Who actually helps them to blow, okay? So, yeah, that's just the truth. No big YouTuber, nobody on YouTube can actually help you blow. I've seen people say things like, um, if not for, if not that this person is her friend or this person is her sister, she wouldn't have been doing well on YouTube. Is that person the only YouTuber that has a sister on YouTube or that has a friend on YouTube? <laughs> Okay, how come their sisters and their friends and their family members have not yet blown finished? Are they the only ones? If one person has collabed with 20 people on YouTube and maybe one or two managed to make it on YouTube, are you still going to see that it is that one person's influence that made those two people blow? You cannot say that, okay? You can't say that because what happened to the rest, the remaining 18? Why didn't the remaining 18 blow if that person has the magic wand, the magic potion that once the person collabs with you, you will just blow? Why is it that the other 18 have not yet blown, okay? So that's one, that, those are things that we need to think about when we're talking about big YouTubers, big YouTubers, big YouTubers, this. Those are things you need to think about, okay? If this person collabed with 20 people and only two blew, what did those two do specially or differently that helps them to grow? That is what you should be thinking about. Those are people that you should go and be looking up to. Those are people that you should go and be trying to make friends with or trying to collab with or trying to talk to not the big youtuber because the big youtuber does not have any special wand that can make anybody blow i hope i'm making sense i feel like i'm just talking you know so yeah i think this is the last one i'm going to talk about the last youtube secret that many people don't know is that content creators are constantly looking for the next best thing the next best thing Content creators are constantly, even the best YouTuber of the world that you think, his content, she or he, they are constantly looking for the next best thing to, except they are, except they are the ones that are comfortable and they're trying to quit YouTube or something, or they're trying to, you know, leave YouTube and go into other, you know, ventures in life. Those are different. 
but I'm talking about content creators who are still on the YouTube platform and who still want to grow on the YouTube YouTube platform. They are constantly looking for the next best thing. Okay, that's basically what content creation is. <laughs> that is basically what content creation is. You are constantly looking for the next best thing. You are constantly trying to outdo yourself. You are constantly trying to, you know, find out what your audience wants. Find out how you can change or tweak your content to getting new audience or new, you know, subscribers or new watchers or new new brands, new collabs, new new everything. Okay, you are constantly reevaluating your content. Actually, so if you are on YouTube and you are relying on you know, just a few set of, of content. If I if I just do all this once, I'm fine. If that's all you are relying on, you might not make it on YouTube because you really need to keep re-evaluating because time changes, the world changes. <laughs> the, <laughs> the world pre-2020 is different from the world post-2020 or even in 2020. The world is so much different now. So the world is constantly changing, the world is constantly evolving. You need to evolve with it, okay? Even YouTube, the YouTube space, what is allowed, what is not allowed, what, what you know, what trend, what does not trend, keeps on changing. So you need to keep on upping your game, okay? Anyway, let me not spill all my secrets here. I'm going to reserve the main ones, the heavy ones, for those who are going to be attending um, our masterclass, the one that me and Nelo have is called YouTube Growth and Success Strategies. We talk about YouTube, we review your channels, we tell you secrets. One thing I like about Nelo, you know Nelo, me and Nelo, that's what we have in common actually. When it comes to talking about YouTube, we actually give it our all, our all. If you want us to open our analytics and show you, we're going to open it and show you everything you need to know about YouTube, everything you need to know before starting YouTube, that's if you're not starting YouTube, or to get to start growing on YouTube, we're going to be talking about all those tips and all those secrets in our next um, masterclass. That masterclass is going to be on the 3rd of October, basically in two weeks time. So please, if you are interested, send me an email or send the low an email, um, our emails are in our description box. Just send us an email and we'll tell you how to register for the masterclass. Um, if you guys are not familiar with how our own masterclass works, we actually put all our masterclass um, attendees in a WhatsApp group and that WhatsApp group is where we disseminate a lot of information. On the main day, on that third, we're going to have a webinar where we discuss everything YouTube, okay? But before the webinar, we have a group where we put Everybody who attends the, the master class at that time, we put them in that group, we teach them some other things, things that we can't really talk about on that webinar day. We teach them those things, then we answer their questions on the groups, and then we leave the group open for um, the YouTubers to interact, make friends, and just, you know, help each other. A lot of people who attended our master class actually loved that part and actually benefited from it because first of all, those people served as their audience <laughs> when they post videos, those people watch, those people critique, those people tell them, you know, things that, they, that we cannot keep telling them every day. Those people remind each other of, you know, what they should be doing and how they should be doing it and all that. Anyway, basically, it's more like a smaller YouTube community where everybody there, everybody's interest is, you know, helping one another. So that's the essence of that WhatsApp group and then we have the main webinar on October 3rd, okay? So yeah, if you're interested, it is 15K or $45, just send me a message, um, email, and send a lot, uh, a, an email as well, and then we're going to um, I'll tell you how to join, okay? Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I wasn't rambling too much. I feel like it, my video was not so coherent, but yeah. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.